On this Friday's Travel and Young, we're going to Malbork Castle in Poland. We're the Youngs. We've spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois, to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. Hello, welcome to this Friday's Traveling Hi. Young. Hi. You saw last week we were in Gdansk, and this week we're taking a day trip yeah. from Gdansk. We're going to go to Malbork Castle. Yeah. I think I said that right. It's about a 30 minute train ride from Gdansk, super easy to get to, and we're going to see what's there. Yeah, so we're here at the station waiting for the train. It's raining a little bit. My yeah. arm is tired because <laughs> this camera is heavier than the old camera, but. We're gonna jump on a train, head our way to Mal Malbork, Malbork, yeah, I think that's and right. <laughs> uh, show it to you. So, let's get on the train. Got the uh, Malbord Castle behind yes, us now. It's super cool, really um, big. And uh, so we took the train here. It was about a maybe a 15-minute walk from the train station to get to where we're at. We stopped. We had some coffee and some yeah. cake. By the way, there's some kind of like event going on where <laughs> random people are running around. It's like it's a, a it's like a mix of a race and a scavenger hunt. So it's really neat. People are running around with maps, like looking for things where they can go and check in. And so and it's kind of funny because there's a bridge right here, and yeah. where they need to go is on the bottom. Right. So people keep running up to the bridge, and they realize they need to be on the ground, and so they're figuring out how to get back down there. Anyway, that distracts us, so we yeah. figured we'd distract you with that for a moment. Um, but here we are. So you were reading a little bit about this. This is like. Yes. The largest, go ahead. So this is the largest uh, castle, I think, in the world by land mass. Um, and it was built way back in the 1200s by the Teutonic Order, which was a Catholic order of German crusaders. Um, and it started as a fortress and it just kept building up, building up uh, over time. And it was a part of the Polish royal palaces for 300 years. So it's yeah. a pretty cool complex. Yeah, we haven't walked around it yet, no. but we were just reading a little bit about it. It before we got here and just to mention because now I would have said this on the previous video when we went to Gdansk Poland but what's cool is this was only like a 45 minute flight it's yeah. from Copenhagen super easy um, to go from Denmark and see and as you saw from last week the town of Gdansk oh, is super so cool beautiful. and then here this is a you yeah. know, just like an hour ish from train and everything to get to this and get to see this really cool UNESCO World Heritage Site yeah. so we're gonna go and walk around and show you what we see. It's massive, so yeah. we'll see what we discover along yep. the way. All right. Let's go. in front of the statues of the four Grand Masters of the Teutonic Order. <laughs> um, and these are the men who actually uh, lived here in the palace. This man, the second one, is the one that was responsible for moving the seat of the order from Venice to here in Malbork Palace. Um, 
I have to say this we don't know how far we are through this tour it's been uh, it's been a long tour even now um, but these audio guides have been amazing uh, you can hear it's getting ready to rain but the audio guides have been really great every time you go into a room it switches and tells you more about the castle and so every time you're walking you're learning something new so it's it's been really great you guys have got to come here if you have a chance I'm disappointed you didn't make my grandmaster flash joke <laughs> So I'm gonna from behind the camera. <laughs> He's not one of the sculptors, no, just so you know. Sadly, none of these are Grandmaster Flash. and we have found more honey because we love honey so much. We talked about that before, how much we love honey and they have quite a few varieties. So we're gonna try some and see what we end up with. ended up with one that is the rape seed one which is super buttery it's really really nice um, uh, I think it'd be great in like a Earl Grey tea this one I love though this one is with ginger I think this would be so so good if you have a cold or something you're not feeling good you just need something to kind of clear up your sinuses a little bit this would be so good super tasty can't wait to try them at home There you go, that was Malbert Castle. Yes. So, so nice. I really, I'm glad we took the train from uh, from Gdansk yeah. to go visit. Yeah, and we, we honestly had no idea that that existed, but I mean, it was huge complex. It took all day to walk around it. Um, I don't even know how much we walked, but it's definitely deserving of its UNESCO World Heritage Site designation because it's just, there's something amazing around every corner. Yeah, I wish I had more facts to drop to you, yeah. but um, <laughs> I mean, it's overwhelming how much stuff we saw yeah. and learned while we were yeah. there. There's this really cool audio guide I haven't, I typically am not a fan of audio guides because I don't like punching numbers in from room to room yeah. at some point. I get like, I give up and just walk no. around. <laughs> but this was cool. You just put the headphones on and as you change rooms, it would automatically yeah. detect where you were and then change the recording. So if you got tired in one room, go to the next one before they're even done and go to the next thing. Yeah. And you can exactly. kind of still go at your own pace and not, you know, feel yeah. like you got to sit in a room for it, two minutes it if reminded you don't feel me, like it. It reminded me a lot of, um, we went to this place called the Pop de Neuf uh, Palace in France and that had a similar audio guide where it like automatically could detect where you were at. And so I think that that really adds to the experience, but we were kind of laughing because sometimes he would be a little bit passive aggressive yeah. <laughs> if we like didn't move in the right place or like yeah. we decided to go someplace like, else. Yeah, we really should go this way. I'm, we're overstating it, how yeah. it was. In my mind, I heard, I think you should go left and yeah. you decided right but whatever do what you yeah. want to do <laughs> it's like when you feel like joining <laughs> yeah. the tour again but when you, you did know. what he wanted you to do he was it's super pumped excited. and he'd yes. be like i'm gonna be in the next place waiting yeah. for you <laughs> um but it was really really nice and i i mean i'll have some links that has information yeah, about you, the palette i mean the whole castle i mean yeah you it definitely was just, should go it was yeah i i mean gdansk was great this this audio guide and the and the place and the day even yeah. though we didn't have the best weather actually it was like storming at one point and we we're inside and the thunder that was, was crazy it was like yeah. some of those rooms were like cavernous and like yeah, the thunder was so just loud. Oh, so loud yeah but, but absolutely then, then we had my favorite part uh, which was going to the shop afterwards and we got yes. we got some lovely honey 
We got some cheese, which I Josh thinks is stinking up the fridge right now. I don't think so. I think yeah. it's something else. But it was, it, it, and yeah. then like, we love honey, and it was like the yeah. second we walked out oh, we and across like, the street, there was these this. stands, yeah. and the folks there were really nice, so we'll have links below yeah. to, to their place. And they had some delicious pickles, which are very special because the pickles here in Denmark and, and parts of Germany are very sweet, and these were like the really sour, salty ones that I love from back home. So it was so good to finally get a jar of those all right but it's so that was Malbork yes. and I would absolutely recommend going um, and it's Friday so it's time for Friday facts yeah. little things about us and um, this is what since this was a castle yes and we've traveled a lot I thought it'd be fun to share our favorite not like castle not in Denmark that we yeah. visited and I'm gonna say mine is Hamaji, which is in Japan. So oh. Maya and I do these daddy-daughter trips every year, where the t since she was eight or something, um, I think, mm -hmm. and um, we take a trip together, just the two of us, somewhere. And one year we went to Japan, and uh, I mean, it's just we had a beautiful day, and the palace it's so neat because mm -hmm. it's just a different style, you know, compared yeah. to what you you know you used to see used to yeah. seeing in Europe. <laughs> Um, and it was just super amazing. So mine is Samaji. It was a great trip with Maya. And just a note, coming up pretty soon in a not too distant future, we've got this year's daddy daughter trip. I'm not going to tell you where we're going to go, but uh, there's some cool stuff outside of Denmark soon enough that Maya yeah. and I'll do. But anyway, yeah. what is your favorite castle? I think mine, I don't know if this counts as a castle, but I think I, I have to go with the Forbidden City in China. Um, we went to the Forbidden City back in 2008. Um, and it was some place that I had wanted to go to since I was a little kid. Um, the, the Last Emperor is actually one of my favorite movies and we finally got to go to the Forbidden City and it was just an absolute bucket list item and it also went on forever. <laughs> like there was, I feel like you could have spent like three weeks in there and still not seen all the buildings. I do have to give a quick honorable mention though to Windsor Castle because that's where the most beautiful dollhouse is, Queen Mary's dollhouse. If you ever go to Windsor Castle, pay the extra money to go see Queen Mary's dollhouse. Yeah, That's I will cool. say about Forbidden City, um, so I'm showing pictures while we're talking about yeah. it now that I took when we were there. Maya, it was 2008, so she was um, four, five. not yet five, yeah. and she was not super excited that day at all. No, um, she was so not having Some it. of these pictures have her in it. <laughs> some of these pictures, though, are when I went back. I was there for work maybe yeah. three years later, and I was by myself, and I got to go through and just focus on taking pictures yeah. and not worry about a four-and-a-half-year-old yeah. that was irritated to be walking around I need around to have a trip palace. like that where so I can go. I spent all day, <laughs> and I, so some of these pictures are from when Maya was there with Miranda. Some were just me, yeah. and I got to spend a bit more time on pictures, but it was pretty amazing. Yeah, it's gorgeous. All right, so there you go. That was Malbork Castle, our Friday fact, and that was that was it. But before we go, we want to mention that Tuesday um, is a very special, yes. like mega uh, try it on Tuesday. The I whole episode is I try it, yeah. and this was like outside our normal character. We, I still can't believe it happened. It's not our style no, to go to no. Noma. But we have really good friends in town. By the time it airs, though, they will be back in the U.S., but they're here right now. I spent some time with them today. Um, uh, from California, they're big foodies, Michael and Judy, and mm -hmm. they booked and asked us to join them. So we will be talking about our experience at Noma, which was amazing yeah. a couple nights ago. That's next Tuesday. I mean, that's not, like I said, this is not <laughs> what we normally would never ever do. do. That. <laughs> um, but, I mean, getting to share it with really good friends, yeah. it was an amazing experience. So next Tuesday yeah. is going to be... Um, is going to be Noma. Yeah. Um, but with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up and say goodbye from Traveling Young on this yeah. Friday. So Bye. we'll see you later. <laughs>